So I had the opportunity to follow you around. I was the camera ninja <laughs> in London, Kentucky. Uh, mm -hmm. You're shooting uh, known pro class, known pro 50, and shooting up on the power line road. And everybody complains about the power line road in London, Kentucky at the ASA. Mm -hmm. why, why do they complain? Mostly because of the lighting situation. You know, you're standing more out in the brighter, more lighted area from the shooting stake, and you're shooting in dark tunnels back to the targets in the woods. And they're, you know, really thick, dense woods. The targets are usually typically really dark, and then where you're shooting from is kind of bright, so it's hard to be able to see the targets and see where you're aiming is where everybody has trouble. Right. And you are using a, what kind of scope? Run a shrewd scope. Shrewd scope. Mm -hmm. How many power lens? For that term, I was running a four power. Four power. Mm -hmm. And then you're running the uh, Insight peep system. Yep. Uh, with a clarifying lens. Yeah, I had a, an A clarifier in there to go with the four power lens. And how did that work out in that particular light circumstance, etc.? Yeah, that's the best setup I've ever had for that kind of thing. You know, I can. A lot of times when you draw back with a bow, you're not going to see the target as clear as you do with your bare eyes. And when I've got that setup dialed in like that, I can see the target pretty much just as clear with my bow as I can with my eyes. So that really helps me in that kind of situation where I can, I can see the target clearly and be able to pick spots to aim. And true, there's targets where you might not see as good as you need to be able to see, but you're a lot better off with that setup than one that doesn't get the light. Kyle, do you feel like that <clears throat> peep gives you any advantage at all in this light? Oh yeah. You never catch me out here shooting without this peep in there. I can see the targets way, way, way better. Even in this poor lighting conditions with Kentucky, you know, I mean, we've got, yeah. uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, be honest, I don't, because there's a camera on you. <laughs> no, yeah, like, if, if I didn't have this peep, I would be struggling to see, I mean, it's hard to see the targets as is, but without this peep, you'd, I'd have no chance. And the glare's coming off of it, and just, it's a nightmare without it. Plus, I can change out the clarifier, and clear up my lens like I had to change to the four power lens so I just popped the a clarifier in there and then I can still run the same size aperture I don't have to buy a new mm -hmm. aperture for every size and clarifier and everything that I want to run I don't have to have 10 million things I just keep the little thing in my quiver and yeah we're good to go you know you also don't see with the longer tube and the baffles on the inside peep you don't see as many of the left and right variances that you typically have to worry about um, sometimes people on like the power lines, you'll shoot, you know, one side of them and the sun's going one direction, the other side, the sun's going the other direction. And sometimes you'll see different variances in where you're hitting and things like that. And as long as I've had that set up on my bow, I've never noticed any difference in change with different lighting conditions and things like that with, with that peep set up in there. Right. It was a lot of fun following you around and, and really getting to see you guys shoot. And, uh, we really appreciate you, uh, choosing our product, putting your, faith uh, and confidence in our products. Yeah, well, thank you guys for building stuff that I can trust. It's hard to find something out there you can put 100% trust in, but I definitely can do that with anything I buy from Hamski. Yeah, well, thank you.